look like the, one of the faceless ones. Right. What's up, guys? Apparently, we're live. I don't know if that's good or bad, but <laughs> it's Tuesday. It kind of changes, I guess. and I am More excited time, about it's, it's, this show today. Uh, we got 36, 35 seconds left, and we're going to get this started. We have Dr. Chapa in studio, going to be hanging out, learning about everything that is going on in the world today. Remember that you have an opportunity to vote today. So if you didn't early vote, go check. Go uh, make sure that you vote if you can. But hear your radio, but not you. It'll come through in a second. What do I know? <laughs> Here we go. Backseat driving. Good morning. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. I'm Gardy. And I'm Kurt. And we have Dr. Choppa hanging out. He's getting his social media launched and ready. Kurt is over here <laughs> dropping stuff from <laughs> droppers in his mouth. Kurt, what are you taking? It's some lymphatic formula, red clover. Cl- Cleavers, Cleavers. Echinacea, I can't pronounce, I'm not even going to try, but uh, oh, right cool. now it's 835, we got Dr. Chapa in studio, what's up Dr. Chapa, how's it going? I'm doing fantastico Ooh. this morning, how are Ooh. you guys this fine morning? Doing pretty good, hey Here's- you know what Kurt, that helped your breath out, you got like you're blowing over here and it smells like natural herbs and spices, it smells good, can you blow again, kind of this way? Isn't that nice? Oh yeah, See, that's, that's pretty how, good. That's how you know you're not putting chemicals in your body. I mean, fresh herbs and spices are the way of the world, man. I mean, thankfully, it's not garlic this Ooh, early yeah, in the morning. No, no, not that although early. We are, although, <laughs> go, as garlic is the most antimicrobial substance, you know, that we should be eating every day, it will kill off fungus, yeast, bacteria. It, like, boosts your immune system. It boosts your uh, lymphatic drainage pathways. It helps with the gut. I mean, it wakes up everything, increases circulation for people to have like arteriosclerosis, atherosclerosis, any type of uh, cardiovascular situation. Mm-hmm. The uh, garlic will melt away plaque in wow. the artery. I mean, it's, it's herbs are powerful, guys. I mean, um, I was reading in a book uh, last week that, you know, for the inpatient man, reach to the power of the herb. Wow. And I was like, what is that? And then I got to, I was at a seminar and the guy was talking about how he um, would literally start all of his patients with herbs because of how fast they have an effect on the body. And I think that at the end of the day, you know, living in the microwave society, people are wanting results yesterday. Right. And, and unfortunately, you know, as powerful as nutrition is, herbs uh, will drive function. Not unfortunately. Fortunately, herbs will drive function to give people hope that they can feel better. <laughs> I love that image. <laughs> I know. I had to put it over there because Kurt's over here uh, taking some some droppers of some lymphatic formula. Yesterday, Kurt, you had some issues. You kind of started struggling oh, through the day. I started struggling. There's something that went wrong. I was a little concerned I wasn't going to have a voice today. And so Dr. Chapa said, hey, this will help. You know, I was a little concerned too. You texted me. I texted you something. You texted me back and you're like, what did you say? You said, I'm like, my, my voice is destroyed today or something along the, those lines. Yes, I destroyed my voice like yesterday. <laughs> I had to end. I don't, I don't like taking like Benadryl, but I had to take some Benadryl and it oh, wipes you out. It just breaks my heart to hear. It wipes me out. There was oh. no, there was nothing else that I had that would stop my sneezing. It's called Allerplex, Dehist. Hello. It's called Sinatrol. On, it's called Thymex. Oh, oh it's wait. called <laughs> Get Off of the Dairy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Milk, cheese, yogurt, sour cream, ice cream, whey protein, not your friend. The, in my opinion, number one most common food allergy many people believe it's gluten maybe it is maybe it isn't uh but they are definitely number one and two in my office uh and uh, with respect to allergens i was just listening to a really cool um uh you know podcast this morning and they were talking about how powerful uh looking at blood under dark field microscopy and 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 being able to see you know if you see an asanophil uh, which is one of the white blood cell constituents in the blood um and you know, in one drop of your blood, if you've got too much of these asanophils, it's an indicator that you have food allergies, uh, wow. gluten being one of them and or um, dairy being another, corn being another, soy being another. Top four most common food allergies in the country. Wow. And some people say sugar's a top four, but the reality is sugar's not even a food. 
you know, mm-hmm. so we have to kind of appreciate, you know, what is and what isn't food. And, you know, what happens whenever you consume too much sugar beans, we just got out of the, uh, the, the Halloween, the right. Halloween season, uh, is people will, uh, literally started, uh, robbing their body of chromium, copper, zinc, um, and, and some of your key, you know, immune building minerals that allow your body to function. And what happens is it's, if you were chew, if we were all sitting around chewing on sugar cane right now, that wouldn't have any issue or bearing on what's going on in our health. But whenever we're dealing, when we're uh, eating refined sugars, the refined sugars, high fructose corn syrup, crystalline fructose, um, these things are very, very acidic in nature and they rob your body of key minerals that help you one, balance your blood sugar and two, not crave sugar and uh, there's and, and and these sugars have no satiating factor of stimulation they're not going to stimulate the uh, brain to say hey i'm full you're just going to keep eating keep mm-hmm. eating until you overindulge to the point where you drive infectious processes to get and take root in your body so never a good thing to start your day with sugar Right now, it's 8.40 a.m. This is KHEARadio.com, 99.5 FM. It's Kickstart, the best way you can start your weekday morning every day. I guarantee it, just like the guy from Men's Warehouse. But we're about to start <laughs> start getting into this. We have some questions that are already rolling in. But I want to ask everybody, how are you all doing this morning? How are you doing? Let us know. What do you have going on today? Do you have any questions for Dr. Chapa? Do you have any questions for us here at KHEA Radio? We're going to get to everything that we can. And let us know, uh, what issues are you dealing with? How can we maybe point you in the right direction? Feel free to share this video out, maybe tag two or three friends, somebody that is dealing with some issues that they were not born with. If you weren't born with it, then uh, there's probably something that's causing it. And maybe we can get down to the the answer uh, of what's going on with you today. So feel free to share this video out, ask some questions. What's up, Ruth? What's up, Holly? What's up, Chelsea and Roger and everybody else that's hanging out with us this morning? So Ruth has a question. Ruth wants to know if you have any suggestions or anything for the flu that somebody can take. Absolutely. We have products in the office called Kid Cold. Uh, It's going to be an elderberry echinacea uh, blend. Uh, We've got things in the office, a product called Viracid, a product called Immuplex. Uh, We use these products when people have an active flu or trying to prevent the flu. One of the best ways you can prevent the flu is to make sure that you have adequate calcium, not calcium carbonate, so you got to read your labels, but make sure it's like calcium lactate, uh, calcium citrate, magnesium lactate, uh, same magnesium citrate. Minerals are huge. Vitamin D is huge. Making sure that you have ad- adequate vitamin D. A lot of people run around today have low levels of vitamin D in their body. Um, some of it's because we're not in the sun as much. Some of it is because we're stagnant in our you know day to day living. We're not exercising enough. Some of it's we're not drinking enough water, right. uh, and w- w- you know we're not um, our body is stagnating and it's robbing the body of key ingredients and nutrients. And, um, and so one of the things that we want to make sure that people do is uh, minerals, minerals, minerals. I had a mentor one time uh, out, out in California, um, actually this is in Colorado, Mark Anderson, and he took a tablespoon of calcium lactate and said, who wants to come cough on me? And uh, that's how confident he was. Wow. And, uh, and this is a calcium magnesium blend. And then cod liver oil is going to be loaded with your vitamin D. And, you know, just... You'd be surprised what starting your day is something, you know, I always promote starting your day with water, right? The more water Mm -hmm. you you get in first thing in the morning, it's like brushing your teeth. It's like taking a shower. It it opens up and wakes up the insides as much as you're trying to wake up and, uh, you know, energize the outside. And, but something new that I've been thinking about is what if we create like a landslide inside the body and Mm -hmm. we drink like something crazy like 32 or 40 ounces of water as fast as we can inside of five minutes. You know, maybe we can do it inside of three. And some people might go, that would make me absolutely sick. You maybe know, so. People, people have told me they get stomach aches, they get nauseous, they get lightheaded, they get dizzy. They feel like they're, uh, they don't feel good when they drink that much water. Ethan's going to go get us 40 ounces each and we're going to do it right now on air. I think it's a great idea. Please. Edward, 40 hands. Yeah. Where we take 40 yeah. ounces of water and you tie it to your hands and you have you have to drink it. That's right. You just got to do it. No so one played that game. Here's what happens, right? Is 
is whenever you create the landslide, the landslide oper- uh, increases a massive volume of water through the top, you know, from top down of your body, uh, digestive digestive tract and you will push whatever intestinal contents that are in your colon that have been re- waiting to come out all night long because your liver is most active between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. You're not going to poop on the air though, guys. That's, Ma- that no. would be taking it too far. Kurt's like, I don't know. <laughs> I can see y'all's wheels are turning. Kurt? We can take this into the bathroom, can't we? We can hook up electrodes. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That'd be just wrong. That'd be just wrong. So, but here's the deal is water is so healing and I I hate to make it sound so simple, but what if every morning you didn't start with a, uh, whatever that drink is y'all over there sucking down water. Um, yeah. Watered in a ice water. Give me me a cheers. We we hide, we hide the nutritional facts. Is that Eaton over here? Does Eaton got his, his water jug or is that filled full of juice? It's water. Oh, you know, come on, Eden. Eden he's just got, became the best. I was just, he's my friend, right? You know, cheers right here, Eden. Ethan's mom is a dietitian. That's correct, right? She's a dietitian, and I've gone to the, the gas station, to the gro- well, not the grocery store, but the gas station, and I'm like, Ethan, hey, you want a drink? I got you, whatever you want. And I'm like, I'm getting an energy drink. And he said, no, I'm good. He'll always get something else, usually water, maybe like a root beer occasionally or something. But yeah, he's not really big on the on the energy drinks. I, I guess he's he's still he's sixteen, so he has that energy built in. Um, but I don't know, Ethan. I think I feel like he has a good foundation. Well, and and so in a, in, re, in all reality, um, I would hope so. Except that little comment he made a little while ago about I need sugar or I want sugar or whatever. <laughs> Did you say that? Oh, in his in, uh, in, in his, his comment, yeah, in his radio, yeah. Sugar, so, yes, please. Yeah. Sugar, sugar. So it's a great song. Holly, I'm really excited to see that your voice is coming back. You know, sometimes when we get laryngitis, I think she was dealing with um, that last week. You know, we recommended some INF fighter. And let me tell you something, too. So maybe that, you know, the INF normally works really fast. So if it didn't work really fast, I don't want you to be discouraged about that. What I want you to understand when I take a patient that has never really embarked on this journey before. When I, when I talk to you guys about my kids and my family rocking 24-hour bugs in four to six hours, mm-hmm. um, it's because we've been doing this a while. Like we've, our body knows how to fight infections really well. If this is your first go at being healthy, and I know that sounds like a, you know, kind of a weird thing. Who doesn't want to be healthy? But if you don't know, you don't know, right? We don't know what we don't know. And so we're learning how to make stronger strides to living better, being better, and staying better. And that's why we do the Living Well Show on Kickstart because we love seeing you guys um, you know, take strides like this story here. If, if it's taken more than three days or four days, man, don't worry about it. If you beat this infection, this laryngitis, if you got through this, uh, pro- whatever the first bout of flu that you're about to go through, Miss Ruth, um, you know, here's what I'll tell you. When you learn how to fight it once, your body will fight it faster the second time. And if you use some of these tools like the Viracid, if you use the Immuplex, if you use the strong, ca- you know, the calcium lactate and the vitamin D support that we have, you know, I can almost assure you 80% of your symptoms will be re- gone in less than t- uh, two days. And the aches that would normally have been there will be substantially reduced, st- you know, from the get go because your body is aching because it's robbing the minerals out of the bones when you're sick. And so we want to just supply the building blocks for good health and Im- Im- immunity whenever the body, you know, uh, gets into a bind and you start having symptoms, whether it's allergy symptoms, Kurt, whether it's the flu, whether it's strep, staph, whatever you're dealing with, there's a, there's a reason your body is using that exit channel and we've got to retrain it to not use that pathway and get the immune system strong enough to fight off and ward off whatever um, burdens you're getting and dealing with day to day. And it's like, a, it's like almost a training ground so, so this is some uh, lymphatic formula. And Roger asked, and we kind of touched on this, I think, before he joined the stream, like what are some good options to take for allergies, you know, allergic reactions? Uh, yeah, do you have anything for allergic re- allergic reaction? Yeah, so fengri is really good. Feverfew is really good. Poke root is fantastic. 
um, anything you're going to work with allergy wise, think liver. Liver's the giver. It's it's the commander in chief. So silymarin slash AKA milk thistle, uh, fantastic for draining trash through the liver and making sure that the lymph has somewhere to dump its contents. And then it won't come out your face, your sinuses, your ears, your nose, your throat. So one of the things that people, uh, when I work with allergy patients, we always want to get to the bowel because the at, you know many times people aren't having a bowel movement every day. Okay, so what if you are? and you feel like your bowels are moving good, but I'm gonna tell you, what if you had 15 meals caked up inside your bowel and we had to clean out the bowel and then come in and detox your liver? You don't wanna detox the liver into an already toxic bowel, it won't work. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll just create you know, stress and havoc on that liver and it'll back up into the limb. And then it'll back and the body says, well, I can't leave it in the limb, so it's gonna stick it out the ears, eyes, nose, throat as one of its you know, source solutions. So one of the questions that just came into our text line, you can text us here at KHEA Radio. The number is 346-704-1806. says, could you ask Dr. Chopper what he recommends for my son's cough and congestion? My old tendency is to take him to the doctor for an antibiotic, but I would like a more natural remedy. And that's kind of what we've been talking about this morning so far. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of, well, and, and what did I tell you guys? When does flu season start when do people start getting sick after halloween after halloween and mm -hmm. it's because of the sugar so guess what happened to all the sugar in my house on the second threw it away absolutely so trash day got uh, and I, I was told <laughs> we should we should have sent all that candy to the soldiers and i go why would i poison my frontline military Ooh. who's who's suggestion was that i don't remember oh, okay. one of my patients goes oh yeah we give our candy to the soldiers and i'm yeah. like you know i probably should have you know but then I go, but no, wait a second. I shouldn't have yeah, done that. I don't want to kill my soldiers. I love my people. And uh, anyway, um, so natural remedies. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad you uh, asked. And so Congaplex, we had it on the air last week. Again, going back, calcium lactate. Um, it, it's a product that we use in our office. By the way, my office in League City, Texas, JustLiveWell.com. Give us a call, 281-554-8600. Stop by. It's at 815 East Main Street in League City, Texas. And you can pick up some of these things. But Congaplex almost sounds like congestion, and some people call it con uh, Congaplex. Uh, and, and this would be a really great solution. What it's inside of Congaplex is the magic. So it's got a really cool name, but it is what's inside that is, it counts the most. And it's got calcium lactate in Lo and behold, wow the most abundant mineral for your immune system. So if you've got a kid with a fever, you've got a kid with congestion, a chronic cough, um, some, if it's green sludge that he's coughing up or mm -hmm. if he's blowing green stuff out of his nose or yellow stuff out of his nose, that's classic infection. The mucous membranes are trying to purge whatever is stuck inside the lungs. And so there's also a product in there called Cataplex AC, which is a A and a C product that stimulates the mucous membranes immunity to ward off and uh, forge ahead in dealing with whatever type of um, uh, infection that might be brewing in your son. And then it's also got ribonucleic acid in it, which we've talked about in previous shows, that upregulates the brain's communication lines to your body. And what this does is this speeds up how quickly your body will, um, uh, will, will be able to see the infection and then go after it. And then last but not least, if that wasn't enough, it's got something called thymex in it, which is thytos, uh, thymus cytosol extracts. And this stimulates white blood cell production from the T cells, uh, cool. uh, from the bone marrow. And this is a really wonderful thing. And this is a perfectly blended uh, product that will literally, in most of the time, most of the time, 95% uh, of your symptoms will be remissed in, in, in one uh, – in one day. So you take 555 five, five throughout the day, even for a kid, and just knock that thing out of there. Nobody's got time to be sick and feeling bad. That would be step one. If there's fever involved, or you want to be a little bit more aggressive, or he's chronically ill, you want to drop in straight calcium lactate, and you want to drop in sesame seed oil. Not sesame seed oil out of the jar out of your cupboard. Unfortunately, once that bottle's been opened, it oxidizes to the point it's not going to have the same potency that's going to stimulate your bone marrow to produce more white blood cells. So you want all three. That'd be the trio. So it'd be calcium lactate. It would be sesame seed oil pearls, these little pearls that you can just chew up. They taste just like Chinese food. I've had it. And uh, it's fantastic. My kids absolutely love it. My two-year-old loves it. Uh, and then the Congaplex. And I have a chewable version for little ones, and I've got a adult version for 
you know, the big people. And this Can trio. Can I still do the chewables? Of course. On airplanes, just for the record. Thanks for bringing it in. You're such. You're on target this I'm morning, on target, pal. Target today. When we get on an airplane, my family and I, they reach over and, and they cause I always will have Congaplex and Cal, uh, and um, Congaplex chewable and Catalan chewable sitting in the back seat of the airplane seat, um, and we chew three to five on the uh, uh, on the ascent of the airplane ride at 10,000 feet we take another dose and then on the descent and then you take another dose if there's an extra hour in your flight for whatever reason but you go on the ascent you take a dose when you're at the uh, 10,000 feet mark there's a dose and then on the descent all the things that they make announcements for is when you're dosing and you won't feel dragged you know dragged out or you know feeling like energetically withdrawn whenever you get off that airplane uh, or if you're prone to feeling a you know little sinusy when you're on a plane won't be there you'll feel great when you get off that plane pretty I, cool i feel good right now just talking about it huh just hearing it i was thinking about those uh sesame seed little gummy things that we had last time so there's a couple comments cat sanford says i love this not in poo talk dr aaron choppa knows his stuff <laughs> and i'm gonna say dr choppa's at it again snot talking about snot and, and poo. poo and then we have jocelyn who How we had in last week it? <laughs> Jocelyn, uh, she's the the founder of Yummy, Yummy Gummies, Gummies for you. She said, "Yeah, they didn't even take any candy, and they they threw it all away." I, Kurt, that should be a poll. Like, yeah, how many of you guys actually? I mean, y'all should send in videos, parents. That, like, you know how like they do on those night shows, right. where uh, like you tell your kids that you, you we ate all your candy. Mm -hmm. Y'all should totally send us some videos just so we can you know uh, create our own little. Uh, well, how did it go for you? My kids understand how it works. You know, we let them have some candy, um, you know, because we don't want them to grow up resenting this whole world of health and wellness because they're going to get into it whether we believe they will or not. I want to believe that my kids will never get into it. But, yeah, right. You know, I'm a realist, too. Uh, but I, what I do is when we got home that night, we took, um, you know, a, a product called Cataplex B, which is water soluble b vitamins it's got b4 in it it's got b6 in it uh b b1 b2 it's a powerful sugar counter uh, i got a product called cataplex gtf loaded with you know chromium and the chromium will help to balance out the amount of refined sugar they got into cod liver oil replenishing uh you know their their body's needs then i give them cataplex ac straight ac to you know, soothe those mucous membranes because I know that that sugar is irritating their gut lining, and you know then I give them a, a, a five um, congaplex so they then they go to sleep on that and they'd wake up the next morning and thankfully you know we haven't been sick or anything of that nature. Cool. I want to touch on something real quick. So you had mentioned you don't want your kids to grow up and resent you know living healthy and, and well. Have you seen the movie Charlie and the Chocolate Fa Factory like with Johnny Depp, the newest one that's come out? I have not. And so his dad's a dentist. <laughs> and he's not allowed to have any sugar. Ever. He's not allowed to eat any candy. And he's like, no, you cannot do that. What are you doing? You know, little, uh, little Willy, <laughs> little Willy Wonka. And <laughs> he grows up and becomes Willy Wonka. And he, is Dash going to grow up and have a, ch uh, a chocolate factory one day? You know what? I hope he does. Uh, he's got. A, he, he says he wants to be a billionaire. So I told him he's got to get started early, and uh, so yeah, I, he might. Who knows? Um, that'd be that'd be cool the, though. The reality is, is I would just say thank you, son, for making sure that job security for your father in his old age is there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Know, I always joke around. No offense to the snow cone stand across the street, or the Shipley's up, uh, the, the donut stand up the street, or the you know the cake pastry maker across the way. I just look at it like job security. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And how <laughs> that would have to be irony that it's like. Hey, it would be, but that's kind of that's in some way that's the that's that's how I think that's the Lord's humor at times. Exactly. Like I've always joked, I hate tea. I don't drink tea, any kind of tea, sweet tea, hot tea, green tea, blue tea, purple tea. It doesn't matter. I do not. I don't like tea. But I could say I could see myself one day like starting a tea company, and I'd be like, I don't drink it, but I guess it's good. Other people do. But man, I'm telling you. Like so, that's how. So in the at the end of last year, I got off of all caffeine products, mm -hmm. and it was best the best thing I ever did. Now, don't get me wrong, like. It was 36 years before I was introduced to coffee and actually consumed it black and enjoyed it. Uh, but it, after two years of doing it, man, I, I started getting migraines from it. And the coffee was waking me up at 4.45 in the morning. And, and it was really sad because, you know, I really like bitter coffee, uh, you know, black coffee. And, uh, but the reality is it, it doesn't like me. 
And but when I broke that addiction, one of the ways I did that is using herbal teas. I mean, vanilla hazelnut, uh, ginger teas. I mean, there's so many good teas out there, especially if you're sick. And we're talking about flu a little bit this morning. We're talking about congestion. Uh, ginger teas at, uh, at the you know at your store. Pick up the Yogi brand or you know Celestial Seasonings. Or I mean, I'm sure there's better teas out there. You can spend you know big big dollars on teas. But you know when you're in a bind and you don't know what to look for, look for immunity tea. It says it on the box, and it's better than nothing. Um, and as long as they don't have extra sugar in it and get the stuff that has no caffeine and start breaking yourself of the addiction of wanting rocket fuel to get through your morning, your day, or your afternoon, or your evening. And it, your body will thank you long term. So Jocelyn has a question. She asked, what is the equivalent of a chewable Antronex, A-N-T-R-O-N-E-X. Yeah, so Antronex is a, um, it's a beef liver fat. So it's got a little bit of a, a bitter, it's quite yucky it's probably worse than you know thymex honestly so i don't make people chew that one but uh the the chewable antronex version would be dehist junior um and i'm assuming this is for your son uh and so this you know the the dehist junior is a uh, uh a different product from a, a company called ortho uh, ortho molecular and dehist is one of the number one selling products of that from that company in houston because people suffer so badly with allergies and uh, so we use this product quite frequently to help boost people's uh, antihistamine you know support uh, and so that they can clear out infections but you've got to go back to hey what what's driving the need for antronex antronex typically is a drainage remedy and so i would say let's let's boost up the liver so beets so product called beta food out of my office is a fantastic product it's got a little bit of a sweet taste to it and uh, that would be a really you know nice uh, you know step or just eat beets uh, if they will eat beets asparagus is really good um, uh, garlic is really good ginger is really good in order to create drainage um, whenever you have say if you don't even have antronex or what if you're just out traveling about what are we going to be reaching for when we need to create some of these uh, we need to get rid of stagnation in the body Cool. Right now it's 901, top of the hour. You're listening to KHEA radio.com. Oh. 99.5 FM is kickstart. We're going to be on till about 10 o'clock today. We're cutting it short because we have uh, some events going on with Abundant Life, who is our partner and sponsor here at KHEA. It's going to be an exciting time. You saw and had mentioned this, but Jesse Duplantis is going to be speaking yeah. tonight at Abundant Life. You're a pretty hey, big fan, huh? I'm, I'm going to say Jesse Duplantis, uh, I've been a fan of Jesse for many, many moons. Uh, I grew up in a church that Jesse would frequent quite a bit as a kid. Uh, went last year to see Jesse Duplantis. Um, I missed it this year, but at a, another church in Pasadena. Uh, Jesse is an absolute fireball. Uh, I mean, he, it, you just know that the Lord's got him because, I mean— what rain, sleet, or snow? That man is on fire. And yeah, he's he loves Jesus. He loves uh, bringing the gospel. He loves teaching. Uh, you know, I have an, another engagement this evening, so I won't be able to make it. But I love uh, me some Jesse Duplantis. So yeah, if you're out and about and you want to get um, a really powerful dose, I mean, I'm sitting here talking about dose of herbs and stuff. Man, I'd get me a little dose of uh, Jesse, and he'll take you many, many weeks down in the uh, months down the way so they always say you know laughter is a one of the medicine yeah it's a form and is that have you seen anything like just people being like having joy and like actually is that helping them absolutely they've uh, we've had studies where people have uh, been cancer ridden they've been in the cancer room and uh, they watched i love lucy videos they lo watched you know johnny carson reruns and, and they laughed themselves well uh, the Bible talks about it in Proverbs, you know, uh, laughter is a merry medicine. And, and so I think having a positive outlook on life and being joyful from within and knowing where your joy comes from, I think really can be a, a, is as much of a healing nutrient as any. Uh, you know, water is important. Oxygen is important, you know. Um, but I would say that if you're not happy – you're going to just have a reason not to. You know, there's an old saying that says, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if you're not happy, what if you're not happy because you've got an organ system that's broken? 
What if you've got you know, a nutritional deficiency that's not allowing those organs to manifest? There's a process in our, in our bodies called somatovisceral responses. I know it's a big word, but it just means emotional organ responses. And what happens is like when your liver is toxic, you will find emotions like agitation, short fuse, angry, don't be pointing at Kurt. I was pointing at me. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes when I just see Kurt, I, I have that uh, that anger, short fuse. Oh, just lost the unicorn fight. There's going to be a unicorn taco fight here. Every, every time he gets angry, yeah. I have to hide the unicorn because he will punch it across the radio that room. Is, well, I'm not even necessarily angry. Sometimes angry. I just get, I'm get Go fired up. Go, okay, fired up is better. So, but, but okay, so watch this. A healthy liver, a yeah. healthy liver drives passion. Fired up could be why he reaches over and smacks the you know the I'm unicorn so excited and so but what about your digestive tract when your digestive tract is irritated you're going to mm -hmm. be more irritable you're going to be more anxious you're going to be more um you know nervous nilly type sensation mm -hmm. and so the organs like your spleen if it's clogged up and this is your your red blood cell white blood cell modulator if it's backed up you're going to find that you're going to be more self-deprecating. You're going to beat yourself up. You're going to think you're not good. You're going to take everybody, what they say, uh, you know, and be offended by it instead of just recognizing that's water off your back. And so every organ in the body has an emotion attached to it. And when it's weak, it's going to re re respond to negative emotions. So emotions can be countered with good positive attitude, good healthy relationships, Punching the unicorn pinata. Oh, I'm sorry. No, yeah. <laughs> it helps a little bit. Get that that right. uh, that emotion out. So we do have a question. This is from Kathy, who we actually met at Fab on Me Bistro and Grill uh, the other day, and she owns a, a salon. It's uh, in the area. If you're still on here, and we're about to, I'm gonna ask this question. Hey, what's the name of your salon? We need to go out there. I, she has an event going on. I think in a couple weeks, and I told her she should come on and talk about it. But and then y'all could have Kurt like do a mohawk. And yeah. she could like, Why do I can, always get dragged or, no, or into this? What if you? What if they dye your mustache? That would be cool. You could have like, like a, <laughs> like a yellow mustache or something, or maybe I need purple. To shave the mustache. Just it needs a trim. It, it needs a trim. But it. it I thought this was no strong. shave November. It is a little bit. Yeah. I mean, Kathy may be able to help us out. Maybe. And so she has a question. She said, "How do you feel about nutritional yeast?" And I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Okay, so nutritional yeast, I'm assuming that we're cooking with this uh, nutritional yeast. Um, we have nutritional yeast flakes that we actually sell in our office, loaded with B vitamins, fantastic product, uh, but it, it depends. Some nutritional yeast, you have to be careful, and this is where it's a little tricky um, when you're looking on the label. If it says hydrolyzed yeast, that's not the same as nutritional yeast. Nu a hydrolyzed yeast could actually be uh, an MSG product. Nutritional yeast is going to be rich in B vitamins. It's going to be rich, rich, rich in helping uh, the body restore nutritional deficiency. So a great thing you could cook with, sprinkle it on stuff. We put it in shakes all That's the cool. time, and it's very simple. And, um, and so that not a bad idea at all. Totally love it. So, okay, some other people were talking about Kurt's beard, and I have seen this on social media last year where somebody said, hey, do a Christmas mustache, but they've also done – like put glitter and ornaments in people's beards. I saw that was like a, a fad or like a, a thing last year. Kurt. Kurt, what do you think about that? Holiday season's here. He's a big, big you can put, fan You can start of, wearing around turkeys in your in your mustache. Yeah, that's better because he's a, he's a fan of not celebrating Christmas early. Yeah, so that's right. We just do turkeys and like, you know. I see the wheels turning maybe in his a, head. Maybe some. I just, I'm just wondering why I always get dragged into the bad things. It's What's bad, bad about what? Us wanting you to look nice. Hey, look at this. I want you to find your wife. That's right. You got to just stand. You got to set Dang. yourself apart. Yeah, dude. Blend in with the crowd. It's not going to work. You got to have that Christmas stash with ornaments and, and be healthy. So here's a, uh, a nice thought, too, that we haven't talked about yet. Lauren says that, uh, thanks, Lauren, for this, uh, your emotional uh, oils that you apply over your liver. So and this is, too, whenever you have in a negative emotion, recognize it. Mm -hmm. If you can name a thing, Aristotle says, you can control a thing. And so if you have an, a negative emotion floating through your, your mind and your body, target it. Mm -hmm. So like if you're angry and agitated and want to hit the unicorn, easy, easy. <laughs> Take Mentran, Adapticrin, Neviton. 
I can't sell enough of this stuff in my office because, or keep enough of it on stock because people buy it up all the time. It's our, it's our emotional triad. And, and so just like we have an immune triad, the Congaplex, the calcium lactate, and the sesame seed oil, we have an, an, an stress triad. The stress of the holidays is upon us. You know, Kurt's already nervous about there being Christmas stuff up at the local stores. So he's already emotionally stressed oh, out. Yeah. And so Adapticrin, Mintran, Neviton. This is ashwagandha. This is rhodiola. This is uh, Romania. This is holy basil. The, this is magnesium and calcium. This is Skullcap, St. John's. I mean, there's all kinds of herbs and power uh, in these triads that I've put together, and they just make it easy for you guys to, you know, to start taking care of those stress needs. When your stress level hits a seven, eight, nine, or a ten on a zero to ten scale, and some of you about go, that's an understatement. I'm at a fifteen. Hey, if that's you then you need my stress protocol and just call our office 281-554-8600. It'll rock your world. I mean, it will within 15 minutes to 50 minutes, you will feel the heat out of the collar. or feel like this. Really? Wow. And, and so like I had a lady, she got in a car wreck and, and she was all stressed out and we started feeding her the stress protocol. The stress triad, and, and that's going to be adapting Mintran Neviton. Why? Because when your body is stressed out in the seven, eight, nine, or ten zone, whether it's due to something tragic, whether it's due to just you know something got you stirred up, um, what happens is you are reactive to your environment, and so the whole day gets off because of one situation that puts you into that wrong state and if you can't get down on your own through good healthy breathing tactics or maybe you didn't you maybe you it was that morning you missed your exercise you you ate maybe something you shouldn't have like a you know bang energy <laughs> i'm just kidding it's bang water <laughs> yeah bang water um, mm -hmm. uh, you know if you just had that morning where you're just off your rocker and you just didn't do your normal morning routine uh this could be something that could help pull you back on track the adaptogen mentor and neviton combo because it will help your body uh stabilize within minutes to an hour and some patients i've had you know i had to do a couple hours in a row of them dosing but that's whenever there's there's something more going on when somebody needs that much extra support but again guys these are ideas to help support you through um em the emotional season uh, of of the holidays and, and make it more fun so Kurt, what you got? Lawrence says, how many would you start with daily? On, are we talking about the um, Adaptive Mintran Neviton? I believe so. I'm going to assume. That's the, yeah, yeah, she so, just asked it. Yeah, okay. So uh, what I would say is you do two Adaptive you do two Neviton, and two Mintran. And it, that will knock it down. If you're not somebody, if you know it's more like a seven, you probably just need two adaptogen, one Mintran, one Neviton. Uh, but the closer it gets to 10, you bring it into the twos. Yeah, Lauren also said, Mama Four needs them daily, not just in moments <laughs> of chaos. This is true. This is true. I think every mom uh, needs, you know, to be considerate of taking care of their stress responses because here's the deal. I mean, not that dads don't need it because, I mean, sometimes dads can come home and they're grumpy from a long day, but, you know, or just the commute to and from work. Mm -hmm. uh, Traffic. I mean, there's, there's, I could make a, this is why I'm talking about it on the air. And this is why I created a triad that we could talk about because people's minds think in, you know, uh, in triads. We think we can remember threes really well. So if I can teach you guys some protocol of what to do when, you're going to have a tool until we can get you in the office and test you out. One of the things we want to do is we want to teach people how to do what's called a timeline history and find out, hey, when did all this stuff start? You know, how long have you been dealing with this stuff? People don't appreciate it. I had a patient tell me this yesterday. He goes, yeah, people don't appreciate, you know, all the years it took them to get into the boat that they're in. Mm -hmm. That was a revelation he had. And this guy came in with anxiety. He came in with insomnia, couldn't sleep at night. He came in, you know, with uh, just constant like feeling overwhelmed with life and thought that life was just you know kicking him in the teeth and he couldn't get a you know traction in his work and it was stressing out his relationship and and, and he just wasn't enjoying life at another lady you know she was on seven different psychiatric medications and those and those psychiatric medications are just suppressing who she really was and is and man with all those chemical reactions taking place no wonder she was also suicidal 
and and you don't have to you know lean on those drugs like that we can find better tools better options to pull you out of the funk that you're in and and it's not overnight unfortunately sometimes it takes six nine twelve months to pull people out of these places but if they'll just stick with it long enough and that's one of the hardest things that we do with patients is getting people to stick with it long enough it's sticking with it long enough means that you're you're not expecting the quick fix we're not giving you drugs we're giving you tools that support your digestive tract we're giving you tools to support your immune system we're teaching you what you should eat more of what you should eat less of so that your body is less inflamed and your body has then when it's not inflamed an opportunity to heal and that's what everybody really wants they just don't realize that it will take time mm -hmm. to get it sometimes if you've been at if you've been sick a long time Right now it's 9.14. You're listening to KHEARadio.com, 99.5 FM. It's Kickstart. We're going to be on till 10 o'clock today. We're usually on till 11. There's a lot of stuff going on and uh, continuing to go on this week. So me and Kurt, we started a new uh, lifestyle. We're making a switch. And that actually started a little bit yesterday, but we kind of, with our schedules in this conference, it's kind of all over the place. But you remember our friends from Naked Nutrition? They have the, yeah. the juice bar. They also do some pre prep food. Pre prep foods, right? So we're going to try and do breakfast and lunch if our schedules allow for the foreseeable future. So that way we can kind of get back on track and make sure we're eating healthier options and smaller portions so we can um, be good during this holiday season. Yeah. And so I'm just wondering because Kurt brought in his cookie. Did you not eat your breakfast today? This was yesterday. Okay, did you have your breakfast today? No, it's still in the fridge. It's in the fridge in the back. So I'm probably going to, after the show, do the breakfast at 10. Because I don't know if we have a lunch today, but right. I'm not going to eat the lunch. So I'm going to wait till after the lunch to eat, so I'll come back. So I'm doing more of a later breakfast, later lunch kind of thing. Okay, interesting. But it, it's healthy stuff. I had the turkey yesterday, the turkey meatballs. Yeah. They were really good. It was meatballs with... Um, I believe it was cauliflower on the side and then broccoli as well. Dude, sign me up. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. And so, you know, one of the things that I just, uh, it's funny that we're all kind of getting, it, it, this is good. I have patients right now that are doing detoxes. Uh, I got pa patients on a 10 day blood sugar programs. Uh, I'm, I just started a, uh, an anti candida diet. Um, you know, and do I have candida? Uh, sure. I mean, I think we all have some level of, um, you know, yeast overgrowth and or you know bacterial overgrowth going on but i think that one of my lifestyle one of the things that i do is i'm pretty consistent over the course of life like eating well these days but <clears throat> so this candida diet i don't think it's going to be terribly hard but this is what i already noticed and it's only been a day so i don't eat a lot of fruit i don't eat a lot of um I do. I think my biggest downfall is I fell in love with those cassava chips. I don't mm -hmm. know if you those those you know um, yucca fruit, and uh, and it's basically a root vegetable, but it's starchy and it's and it and it and I, I see that it kind of bloats the stomach a little bit and it slows down digestion, and so um, I decided to do this anti candida diet and uh, that I put together with another doc on, up in Katy, and um, him and it, it, one day. I'm, I was literally wanting a date, like I was like craving a date, and uh, and that's one of my no foods for right now. And uh, and I'm and but I'm gonna go. That's a know. weird craving, by the way. I'm gonna say that's not normal. Well, <laughs> like I really want like, twenty. I've been what, twenty four years. I've been playing this game. I've been fifteen years old. I started this whole thing. Yeah. So for me, you know, like like. I, I, that's what I was getting at. I have these ideas like, what if we drink 40 ounces of water in five minutes or three minutes? Yeah. What would happen? And and because it will, it, that volume of water will knock trash off the bowel that that needs to come out that you can't normally get out. Um, and so I have these ideas because I'm literally playing with these ideas when nobody sees me. You know, y'all see me on the air and I'm talking about this stuff, but I think some of my ideas are just from living this out. And um, me and uh, one of my uh, marketeers actually uh, she has uh, helped put together hey here's some healthy recipes because we're looking for recipes for teenagers you know what does the teenager world love and like because you know when and, and what I think is good and hearty they don't right I can tell you what teenagers are like they like Takis and hot Cheetos well that's right but I mean that's chemicals and, yeah and it's stuff that is not anything valuable in their body. Nothing. Right. You know, I have this book that I'm reading right now. It says it's called "Don't Eat the Wallpaper," and and and, and I'm like, 
what is that? <laughs> and and what it is is it's talking about um, here. You please don't eat the wallpaper. The teenager's guide to avoiding trans fats and rich wheat and high fructose corn syrup. Nothing magical. It's nothing that I haven't already talked about. But the the reality is is yeah. There you go. Give it to the I'm team. Handing it to Ethan. And uh, <laughs> and so, uh, but they she basically made you know gave me this idea that what if the idea isn't necessarily to give them my diet, right? right. What if the idea is just to sh teach them to read a label? Like, like when you pick up a wrapper, if the wrapper says enriched flour, like look on that cookie, does it say enriched flour as the number one ingredient for the ingredient? Well, Kurt, well Kurt's looking at that wrapper. Enriched wheat flour. And, okay, so the, yeah. oh, watch this. The minute it says enriched wheat flour, you're, you're eating glue. That is not anything that you want to consume. And so the it, it, so if you teach people to look at labels, if it says partially hydrogenated oil, it's plastic and petroleum. That's why we use the koozies. We cover up the nutritional like, ingredients. So yeah, that we so don't... you're living in ignorance. And ignorance is bliss, guys. <laughs> ignorance, ignorance is bliss. Is bliss. Uh, that's what I've always been told. That's my motto. That's my philosophy. Have some. So, But the idea is what if we just teach people to avoid products that have high fructose corn syrup mm -hmm. in it? What if we – and so because there are drinks out there that are healthy. We sell a product in our office called Ultima, and it's fantastic. People love kombucha. People uh, – uh, the um, there's options out there. With these herbal teas that I'm throwing out, they're sweet. They're flavorful. You could put stevia in it and, and find a way to make it taste – you know, acceptable to your taste buds. Instead of buying sausages that have bad oils in it, buy Applegate Farm sausage. They have less, they don't have high fructose corn syrup. They don't have partially hydrogenated oil in there. But see, you're, it's like you're giving the same solution just in a different wrapper. And, and then instead of Ritz crackers, you're buying a better Ritz cracker variety. I mean, there's others, this, you know, the same with the saltines. People reach to comfort foods and people reach to what I know how to do, not necessarily what I want to do or what I should do. And so one of my you know, missions is just to help people recognize this, hey, let's not make this hard, especially for families of four or families of six. I got a family of six. And when we start looking at labels and we start teaching people to see the poison, then they're less likely to pick it up because there's quote unquote healthier you know, wrapped package stuff out there that even though it doesn't have these ingredients in it, it has a lot of other chemicals. But there's a lot of products that have real clean wheat uh, or have a real clean, you know, fat or that has a real clean, um, you know, ingredient label. If you see trans fat on your label and it says even one gram of trans fat, put it back. It ain't worth buying. And again, what will happen is over time we will change the food that is being served to us in our stores if we change our buying habits. So therefore, we've got to make a change in what are we looking at on the label. And so if you see enriched flour in, in your crackers today or in your you know cookies today, put it back. Just don't buy that one. Buy one that doesn't have it. If you see high fructose corn syrup, hey, put it back. It ain't worth doing. If you see MSG, Put it back. It ain't worth doing. If you see um, partial hydrogenated oil or artificial sugar like sucralose or aspartame or saccharin, put it back. It's not worth putting in your body. And so what if, if, if it's – those are the simple things. So you find gums that don't have sucralose in it or, or red number 16 and yellow number 42 and blue 76. Those are chemicals that you don't want to be putting in your body. And so if we start looking for better options that don't have all these ingredients, the first time you're looking, guys, it's going to take you a little longer in the store. But once you find the things that you like, guess what's going to happen? It's going to be as fast as ever because all this stuff is out there. Go to Irma's Nutrition Store. Go to the Natural Living Store in uh, you know Nassau Bay in League City. Uh, great places to start when you don't know what to eat. Go to places that you know have a good arsenal of already – selected foods until you acclimate your eyes to what is healthy mm -hmm. and, and so we always want to be reaching to better choice foods so and that's what we're doing at our office so we have a couple comments on that you know uh, jocelyn suggested that you should maybe have a show where we focus on alternative examples and lauren said yeah you know if Absolutely. there was like a, a cheat sheet to help 
kind of I'll start building that. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a great idea. And I think especially with this holiday season and especially with in, the more that you we're, we're informing people and informing uh, the world about what it is to live well, be well, and stay well. Yeah, we need these ideas that we can all come together and build these uh, arsenal and share each other. It's like the village, you know. It takes a village, and I think we are the village. And uh, you know, I've got my tribe, and every one of you could have an influence on a tribe of people that look to you and want your guidance. And uh, we just want to make sure that we're giving you the best possible information available so that's why we enjoy mm -hmm. being here with you guys so it, it's like us with ethan yeah he's just you know welcome he's our little friend i will say this looks like a young ethan on the cover i was gonna say the exact same thing ethan, ethan did that, you take a picture for this book cover were you a model whenever like <laughs> a child on. model mm -hmm. ethan he's not denying it he's not denying <laughs> it hey so here's the deal um we're getting we're wrapping up here so i just wanted to let everybody know visit our website justlivewell.com we have a lot of great health surveys out there. We uh, also, our phone number, 281-554-8600. Just a quick little recap. We've talked about immune modulation today. So Congaplex, sesame seed oil, calcium lactate, great products to help you in the immune response season. Uh, stress management, Adapticrin, Mentran, and Neviton, some of our favorite triads to help you guys live better, stress better, to work through this, you know, the challenges of the day. You know, we don't want you to reach into alcohol at night. We don't want you to reach into starches and sugar. It's not a, a long-term fix. It's a short-term, you know, checkout moment. But ultimately, in the long run, it's going to pay uh, negative dividends to your overall wellness and vitality plan. And we want you to choose wellness one bite at a time. And we want you to choose these alternatives that we're talking about. And uh, we believe that at our office, uh, between Jennifer and I and my team of staff, that we're, we're actually heading out to – uh, Charlotte, North Carolina next week, we're going to be going to the research and development facility for Standard Process, and uh, we're going to basically see the, the cutting-edge, state-of-the-art uh, research and development going on in the world today uh, when it comes to all these different ideas and topics. So we're taking our office team out there to, to tackle this new insight. That's awesome. Dr. Shop. I have a question. So this lymphatic formula, I've been waiting to ask this the entire, entire program so far. If I take this, will this help me have a better day? If I take one, <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, yes, and I'll tell you why. For one concept alone, bitters always drive health. Bitters also drive healthy mucous membranes. Bitters change the dynamics of your digestive tract. And remember, I think on our second show, mm -hmm. we talked about <clears throat> there is three million more neurotransmitters in your digestive tract than there is in your brain. So we're going to change the and get your neurotransmitters to be like those butterflies that fly in formation. So yes, you will have a better day. I can't argue with that. I want to have a better day. So I'm going to take this, just one <laughs> dropper, right? No, I do two. Make it, make it worth it. Kurt did a couple. Did I did two? two. I did two. I got it on tape. I moved the camera over and you're hey, like. Move the camera so everybody sees Guardy. I'll try. And <laughs> yeah, check me out, guys. I'm going to take a couple of these. Weed Botanical. No, again, so this is from a guy out in um, Austin named Dr. Weed. I know it's an awesome. People say, Choppa, you sell weed at your office? A little bit. Yes, we sell weed at our office, but it's weed botanicals. Uh, it's not what you're thinking. I um, had a bitter, bitter taste when I put it in my mouth. Woo, and maybe yeah. because of, you know, what I was well, that, going through yesterday. Like, I don't know about Guardi, if you if you felt that bitterness. Tastes delicious. No, it, it's a little bitter. has that bitterness. Yeah, mine was like almost... Like I couldn't stand it, and I think it's because of the allergies. It did help, you know. I was I didn't have a voice when I when we walked when I walked in today for the radio show. It was nice. And oh, so but you sound completely normal. I would have never even known that. A little bit. I I still feel a little bit in my throat. I mean, I can. I, but you guys have been busy. I mean, y'all putting in a lot of time here at the church, getting ready. Y'all have had yeah. like what? Y'all had an event almost every night. Yeah, yeah. Sun, since Sunday morning. Well, not well, we even, that. even Saturday. I was going to say prepping on the, yeah, we on had a work end. day Saturday and then like, you know, Friday yeah. and all that stuff. It's been a long, a long uh, couple of weeks, but it's been, it's been good. And it's been positive so far. It's been great. So uh, we have Molly who asks a question. We're going to get this answered if we can. So Molly said, I've been doing keto and I've been getting spasms in Charlie horses. They say a banana can help, but that's not necessarily keto friendly. So Dr. Chapa. What do you suggest to kind of help with this, uh, Charlie horses? So Charlie horses are like ulcers and fever blisters. They're a check engine light. So your body is telling you that you're, you could be 
So and I love talking this out because this is powerful. It's simple. The simple answer is you need to come to my office and get some calcium lactate. Simple answer. Um, the, 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 but why is it the right answer? The why is what is going to help you make good choices later on. And so what happened when you started doing keto? What you eat is important, but what you don't, don't eat. eat is more important, right? So keto pulls out. I love you, Gardy. Thank you for that. Come on, Kurt. I mean, I was a little I'll, behind. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Say it. Say it. What you don't eat is more important. What you don't, <laughs> don't eat, eat is more important. So oh, I'm you, sorry because if I don't eat, then I can't say cheese. That's true. That's true. Right. So and and so there's when it comes to keto, you're taking out inflammatory foods. Yeah. And when you take out those inflammatory foods, her, your body is now in a more prime state to detoxify. And what does that mean? That you're getting rid of contaminants that your body cannot use that is stuck deep inside your tissues and that your body cellularly is purging them out. Now, if I could unitize toxins, which I can't, but I'm just – if I could unitize them down to like a unit of this equals a unit of that, for every unit of toxin that you have in your body and everybody that's listening and everybody that's not listening, you have toxins. And so when you uh, have these toxins built up in your body, it steals two to three mineral units out of your body. And when you steal two to three mineral units out of your body, you're going to be susceptible to Charlie horses, cramps, aches, anxiety in your legs, feet, arms, and hands. And and so the the whole idea um, about needing calcium, that's your body's check engine light crying out for calcium. That's your body's check engine light crying out that it's, it is it is detoxifying. Maybe you need some Antronex to do some drainage work. And so absolutely, come get some Antronex, come get some um, uh, calcium lactate and – my daughter came to me just the other night, and she says to me, why do my bones hurt? She literally goes, why do, or no, she said, yeah, why, why do my bones hurt? And I said, oh, you're growing, honey. And I gave her a handful of calcium lactate, and I haven't heard from her in three days. Now, I've talked to her, uh, you <laughs> know, but, we, <laughs> but we didn't talk about her legs hurting anymore. That's and, funny. And so um, it, it is absolutely amazing, and I'm talking in sometimes seconds this can be resolved. And an mm -hmm. easy thing we do in the office, it's called a mineral analysis. We'll actually take a calcium cuff, like a blood pressure cuff, crank it up around your calf. And if you can't hold and sustain pressure of 300 uh, pounds of pressure from that cuff, then you have a calcium deficiency in the tissue. And that means that the bones are struggling. That means that your, your visceral organs are struggling. And so definitely something that we can you know, um, work with. And then somebody just asked real quick. I know we got to wrap it up. You know, can you repeat the information about the neurotransmitters in the gut? So yeah, just talking quickly about when you have a healthy gut lining, there's three million more neurotransmitters in your digestive tract than there is in your brain, and 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 basically your gut feeling is right. So you know, Gardy was just asking, how do I get my butterflies to fly in formation so I have a better day? All right. Bitters, yes. bitters, bitters. So red clover, cleavers, um, you know, the lymphatic tonic, golden seal, sh uh, uh, chaparral, very strong bitters, uh, you know, that will help move that along. Uh, it could be the cataplex AC. I know Amber, she, she loves that stuff. Uh, cataplex AC nourishes the mucous membranes and the digestive tract. The healthier the gut lining, the healthier the brain. And so the gut lining is, if you look at it in a, and if you just Google the digestive tract, it looks just like your brain or just compare the pictures and they look very much the same. So guys, it's been a great show. I, don't, I mean, I can sit here all day. I love being with y'all. I hope y'all know how much I enjoy it. We're going to miss you next week. Yeah. No, no, no. I'll be here. Can oh, we, you will? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, yeah, we, no. can we at least get these last two answered real Whatever. Quick? Yeah, y'all the boss. I can, I'm, I'm yeah. game. So Misty from Nick and Nutrition, who that they're hook, uh, we're working with and we're going to be eating their delicious food and, and uh, doing some good stuff here. She asks, is there anything for a citrus allergy, orange, lemon, Lime, grapefruit. So, assuming that you're saying that do people uh, people are having allergies to oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruits, right? So it'll be just like onions and just like garlic. It is an absolute liver congested issue. We decongest the liver, and so we use beets, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, very powerful to do that. I use a beet product in my office called um, – Beta food, AF beta food, Livaplex. I also use dandelion root uh, as an herbal coffee. It's no caffeine, and it will drain the lymphatics of the liver. We also use milk thistle and um, uh, as uh, AKA psilomarin, depending on who taught you, uh, to clean up the liver. Um, 
juniper berries, fantastic for cleansing the liver. It, we we have products that have these things in there, Phytocore, SP Cleanse. We we have an arsenal, like literally. I'm so glad that you asked such a you know it's a strange question, but it's really it rel relative to what you do in your business because you sell shakes and things of that nature. And I used to have an orange allergy where I would eat an orange and I'd get ulcers. And it's because uh, my body had a, a congestion issue. And it was once I cleaned up that congestion issue, I can have oranges like with the best of them. And mm -hmm. it's amazing. And uh, because, I mean, really and truly, those things should not be causing us problems. And uh, some of it, too, could be that it's the contaminants that are on these things. These are highly processed foods, and they have a lot more pesticide and things like that uh, that people are allergic to. Just goes back to the same conversation with wheat. But I'll tell you one last thing on when you have an obscure allergy, such as oranges, lemons, limes, or cucumbers, or avocado, heaven forbid, um, <laughs> what happens is you have a wheat, dairy, corn, soy allergy. And, and if you stop the wheat and dairy and you avoid the corn and, uh, and avoid the soy, what winds up happening is your body will naturally get rid of the bulk allergens that you have, and then you'll be able to tolerate oranges and lemons and limes and grapefruits again. And so that is a uh, great question. Cool. And then Roger has one as well. And I remember we talked about this, I think maybe last time. Motion sickness. Yeah. Absolutely. So the motion sickness stuff is uh, going to be the chewable congaplex. If you're an adult, or actually, there's two on the same then the same vein. Thymex. I like to chew it, but if you're not going to be chewing it, do the chewable congaplex, uh, or just take the regular congaplex and sesame seed oil. Um, those two I will directly affect the inner ear and the eustachian tubes. Clean those things out, and it allow the inner ear to drain. Uh, more effectively and that way people can start um, they'll have less dizzy when they go from lying to standing mm -hmm. less vertigo less ringing tinnitus in the ears um, I mean it's really powerful that's awesome well Dr. Chapa one more time tell people how they can get a hold of you your website and social media stuff so absolutely um, my name is Dr. Aaron Chapa living well clinical nutrition center we are here and believe that all life starts and stops at the cellular level and nutrition is the fundamental backbone that helps your body get traction and get good health happening uh, we know that whatever you're dealing with uh, whether it's headaches allergies whether it's chronic fatigue whether you're just struggle if you got kids that struggle with ADD ADHD um, whatever the issues are we believe that food matters and one step uh, in front of the other, we can give you guidance and tools and direction if you're willing to integrate it, if you're willing to let us be the puzzle solver. Give us a call, 281-554-8600 or visit our website at justlivewell.com and let us know how we can serve you best. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you next week, Tuesday. All right. God bless you guys. 8.30. Right now it's 9.36 a.m. You're listening to KHEARadio.com 99.5 FM. We're going to play a quick song. We're going to keep it going on Facebook and we're going to be back talking about what's going on tonight, what's going on this week, and what we have coming up in the next couple weeks. It's going to be a busy time. Yeah, you're listening to 99.5 FM KHEA Radio. All right, guys. Hopefully everyone's doing good. Um, yeah, hit up Dr. Chop if y'all have any more questions. I know if you call his office, you can get something scheduled. Or I think on his website, there's some um, uh, surveys you can take, kind of help you uh, help you out as well. A little fast track stuff for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can. It's safe to put my taco back up now. Why'd you take it down? It, it was, was getting, flying it was in my passion. A, in my getting, passion, I was like, <laughs> it was getting offended <laughs> by <laughs> by all the no cheese talk. No <laughs> cheese talk. Look, there is no cheese on it. Look, there's some tomato, lettuse, and some I'm kind of meat. That is that turkey, turkey meat? Gonna, turkey, I'm gonna, onions. I'm going to assume that white stuff is not sour cream. Yeah, it's no, onions. It's definitely onions. De definitely. Hey, so. <laughs> and so, it's not a corn taco. So we have an 80 20 poll taco. going on right now. Should Kurt get his beard decorated? Almond flour taco. 80% say yes. 20% said no. Angie, what's up? Do you think Kurt should have his beard decorated for the holiday season? We got Thanksgiving. We can maybe hang a turkey. And then Christmas, we'll hang some uh, some ornaments. I think it needs to be longer. Glitter, but it'll grow. It's growing every day, Kurt. Shave November, Kurt. Yep. Glitter beard. Glitter beard. I agree. That's the thing. I, I've seen it. On social media, so it must be true and, and must be a thing. 
So we have uh, some stuff going on tonight. We're going to have Jesse DePlanis at Abundant Life tonight. Everybody is invited. Come hang out. Bring a friend. Say what's up to Kurt. Say what's up to me. And uh, at 530, we're going to have food trucks in the parking lot. We're going to have a petting zoo in the parking lot. There's going to be bounce houses. There was a mechanical bull. I was trying to get Kurt to ride it in his hot dog costume, but he wasn't really feeling well due to his allergies. And he was like, I'm not going to do that. I hate KGA radio. That's he didn't say that, but I, that's what I was kind of Dang. feeling. What in Tar Heels? I know. I was I'm like, dude, like, my my heart just sank. Mine you can't too. talk like that. Ever, my heart Kurt. broke. I never said that. You said a lot that you don't remember due to I don't the remember, Benadryl. I don't remember a lot. And <laughs> the Benadryl talking. Oh man, it was. Uh, yeah, he yeah, you was, shouldn't do Benadryl. You should do lymphatic formula and <laughs> hider anything but Benadryl. If it's gonna make you forget stuff and act like yesterday, or act crazy. He was like looking rough i'm like are you awake right now because he took it went home and i think slept for a little bit and then man it was the weirdest thing we had all these conversations and now he doesn't remember them I don't he was asking ethan if his hair looked good and ethan was like yeah it looks okay why is there someone here trying to impress and he was like no and now he doesn't even remember having that i don't remember any of that conversation <laughs> you just sound like kermit the frog there no no that's my kurt voice do you have a uh, is, do a Kurt voice? Uh, well, there's there's <laughs> plenty of different ones. Whenever yes, he sir. walks in like late, it's like two minutes before eight thirty. He's like, oh, "Good good morning, sir," and then say something like cheese. Say cheese. 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 I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's yeah. my Kurt voice. <laughs> yeah, it, he's a little Nebraska, but he's our little Nebraska here at KHEA Radio. So, yeah, we're going to get Kurt a glitter beard. I think it's a great idea. Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. So, idea. if the bull's back and you're feeling better, are you going to ride it in the in the hot dog? Possibly tonight. If the bull's back. I hope the bull comes back. Angie, come ride the bull. So, yeah, at 530, the food trucks uh, are going to be out there. So, the way we've been doing things is, like, what you you can get something from the food truck for free, and the church is uh, providing that. So, you come in through the front door. You talk to people where the registration takes place. They're going to give you a ticket. You take the ticket. You go back out to a food truck, and you can get something for free. Uh, if you have kids, the bounce houses are free. Is the petting zoo free? Petting zoo is free. Yeah, the petting zoo is free. So it's, it's Thank gyms. you, because I have to shoot some videos for it. But they uh, you already able... have, like, a ton of video for it. I have to shoot another video in order to make up for it being free for the – How much footage do you need? Of It's the same animals. They want to, like, at a certain event. So – I'm doing that so that people can go and pet the animals for free. So go and pet the animals for free. You sound like you're really upset about it. No, I love it. I want to, I want more people to go and pet the animals for okay, free. Okay, okay, dude. Come so, on. I'm sorry. Come on. Man, dude. Kurt's on edge. Kurt. I'm not on yeah, edge. Some, take some more of this. <laughs> I, I put some in your... I put some in your energy drink whenever you weren't looking, trying to get it in there any way possible. Oh, yeah. I imagine. Yeah, Kurt. Um, <laughs> hope just, I just hope Kurt remembers today. Huh? Uh, 6th of November. Remember, remember, the 6th of November. Did they teach you that in homeschool? Because Jesse DePlanis no. is in the house. Exactly. Yes. November. Remember, remember, the 6th of November. Or is it the 6th of December? It's not any of those. It's not neither of those. Wasn't it the V, yeah, v for Vendetta? Wasn't it Remember, oh my Remember? Oh, gosh. That was an amazing – I mean, <laughs> it's a terrible movie, but it's an amazing movie. Remember, Remember, the 6th of November? Or is it the 6th of December? I don't know. So yeah, everybody did everybody vote already? There's like local elections going on. There's it's game time. Senate seats. You got to vote today. I need to vote. I did not early vote. So dude, I'm, you better get out. Be it. voting. You already voted. Early voting, dude. I should have early voted. Kurt's red. He registered to vote, so that's good. They're not even. They don't even need your card as long as you had your driver's license. Uh, you're you're good. That's all I, ask I hear you us. don't even have to be a citizen half the time. <laughs> Depending on where you go. Well, that, that, that's the answer to a different question, my friend. Oh, okay. Ethan can't vote yet. Be able to vote in the next 
That's what's up. That's scary to think about. You, you already know who you're difference. voting for? Well, yeah, no one knows, but... Um, we know one candidate who's running. Ethan's going to vote for himself. <laughs> the Rock. Kanye has said he's going to be running. Awesome. But Trump's running, too. Well, not if, I don't know if Kanye, if he's on his well, ticket... I thought, I thought um, Donald said he was only going to do one term. Yeah. We'll I mean, see. he might change his mind. Things are subject to change. But, yeah, make sure you vote. Just do do your research and I don't know. These local elections mean a lot as well. And I know even if you decide to vote straight ticket one way, the local elections, they do not uh, – you have to go down and manually do them because it's not with a party. Local elections are just local elections. Uh, you got something to say? No. Publishing the poll. But I don't know how to publish it. How many polls have you published? There we go. Publish the poll results. Um, yeah. Do you want to go on after this, Kurt? We can if you All want right. to. And Let's then finish out. Are you coming with us to the couple's lunch? Is your girlfriend coming? She's not my... <laughs> she's, she's not, oh, they're they're just... not... Are y'all going as a couple? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. I'm Gardy. And I'm Kurt. It's Tuesday. I think it's November 6th because that's what you've been saying over and over remember, again. Remember, remember the 6th of November. And I do remember. So we have Jesse Duplantis at Abundant Life tonight. And we have a, an event that's taking place actually like at 1130. So we're going to be going to that. It's at Noah's Event Center in Dickinson. And then I'm going to go try and vote somewhere. Just anywhere. I'm just going to go on the stream and be like, where can I vote? And there's a lot of places, I believe. Yes. Yeah, speaking of that event tonight. At 5.30, if you want to, there are free food trucks, so free food, uh, and then a free petting zoo. There will be bounce houses for the kids. So if you get off of work and you want to come down and get free food and then listen to Jesse Duplantis, you can as well. Yeah, that's cool. So it's going to be fun. 5.30 in the Abundant Life Christian Center parking lot, which is where KHEA Radio is located at 601 Delaney Road in Lamarck, Texas, off of Exit 13. Just come out and you'll see the bounce houses out there. You'll see the food trucks. You'll be able to get something for free off the food trucks. You'll be able to have your kids be in the bounce houses. Yesterday they had a mechanical bull. I was trying to get Kurt on. He wasn't having it. No, maybe tonight. If the mechanical bull is there tonight, I'll jump on there with the hot dog suit. Intern Ethan, did you did you get on the bull yesterday? No? No, he wanted to, but you were busy do probably have, helping work. Do they have a restriction on like Weight limits or anything like that like, for that mechanical bull? Why? No. Are you worried? <laughs> um, he's, just looking, he's looking for any way to get out of that. Oh. I'm, just, I'm just saying it's for kids. No, you know? it's not. Maybe they might have an age restriction. No, I don't think that's for kids. I think that's for adults because kids can't get on that. What, they're going to throw a, like a baby off of, <laughs> of that mechanical bull? No, sir. No, can KHEA Jr. go up there with me? Yes, KHEA Jr. can go. You haven't seen KHEA Jr. since KHEA Jr. was born, Kurt. You've abandoned him? Yes. It's just wrong. He doesn't even wear the watch. He got a watch engraved with KHEA Jr., and then he just decided not to wear it. I see it sitting on the couch. As your financial day. advisor, I am regretting my decision to to check off your okay to, to make that purchase. Yeah, I asked you. Yeah. You said, go for it. I thought you were going to wear it. I wear it. But I have like eight watches, so at they home. have to switch. <laughs> I wear it at home on the couch. Well, That's there you funny. go. Now you know. I didn't know. But uh, this is Kickstart. We're going to be on only till 10 o'clock. So we have about 12 and a half minutes left. We're having some fun. We had Dr. Chapa in studio. He's actually still in studio. <laughs> I'm just hanging studio. out. I just don't want to leave today. I love you guys. He's like, he's no, like, I'm actually I, just responding. I have to go to, back to work? I have, I'm responding to all. I'm actually going to be on a podcast with uh, the, the great Dark Wolf. Dark really? Wolf, we JJ. Love, yeah. man. Tell him we need some more. We need more C C4 bananas. Sell your core. No, yeah, all right, I'll tell him today. Yeah, Did tell you, him to have his rep call us because we we only want to drink the best, you know. And if <laughs> if it may be Cellicor, it may be Bang, it may be Rep. I do not know. It may be water. Hit me up, Aquafina. Are you gonna Are you gonna tell him about our C four bananas? Uh, what do you mean? Am I, I'm gonna tell him he needs to bring out some more. Yeah, yeah. Tell, yeah. tell See, him. You guys, you guys like to you know uh, drop bombs on yourselves. I'm just I'm a not quite bit. there. You yeah, know, I, I'm still I'm still just using you know a fire ext fire extinguishers through water H two O. Yeah, tell him about the idea, Kurt. 
we've been putting Cellucor C4 on Kurt's bananas in the morning, and then he's been eating them, and it's an energy banana, trademark, KHEA Radio 2018. Yeah, we have it on video. Yeah, and so uh, just pitch that idea to him, see what his thoughts are. Maybe you can tell Cellucor about it, and we'll see where it goes from there. But it's trademarked, so Cellucor right. cannot steal it. That's we're, right. We're willing to license it. That's right. I mean, absolutely. Well, I mean, we might sell them the idea for two point three billion dollars, but you know, or two billion point, billion dollars. Billion billion dollars. Hey, at this point, two point three dollars. You could get a banana or three. <laughs> two point three. That's two dollars thirty cents. <laughs> hey, that's that's uh, that'd be cool too. Get some bananas going. Hey, what's up, Solion? Good morning, everybody watching on Facebook. Good morning. If you're listening in your car, what do you have going on today? Um, we're going to be hanging out here at KHEA Radio and Abundant Life Christian Center because we have an event going on tonight. We're going to be at, we're excited. It's going to start at 7. Everybody come at 5.30. There's going to be food trucks, fun, family. Kurt's going to ride a bull and a hot dog. Man, last night was Costume. also really cool. Ron Carpenter was <laughs> preaching. And uh, I tell you what, I might have a new new pastor that I'm going to be listening to more often. Here's what's cool. So we have a lot of guest ministers that come in his social. So he has about 200, it was over 250,000 followers on his Facebook page. What people do not do whenever they come here is they share out our live stream. So he, he, either he did it or his son or somebody who controls the social media was here or knew that that was the stream. They shared it out. On average, we'll, we'll maybe finish with like, you know, 20 people watching, 25 people. If it's something, you know, maybe 40 people at the most on our stream. I looked and there was 260 people watching our service at Abundant Life last night. That's the most we've ever seen the stream. We ended with like 7,000 people. So imagine like who was sitting here and make that like 7,000. Yeah. Usually usually it's about 1,000 to watch yes. on a normal powerful. Sunday. That's and there was 7,000. And it's just because somebody decided... Hey, I'm going to share this video and all of Ron Carpenter's followers were, were watching. And yeah. we, were, we were tagging along like, hey, go like KHEA radio, <laughs> you know, kind of being facetious on the stream right. last night. But well, the cool thing about that and this that works with, you know, our topics here as well, because even if you share something out, maybe it ministers to you, maybe it speaks to you, maybe it doesn't. But there are people in your life, people that are on your social media streams that are, may have uh, partaked in that and enjoyed it. And so we always say that here as well, especially when we talk about health and anything positive that can help people out. You know, share out this video. You never know who on your friends list. It could change their life. You do not know. And I think that was the one thing that I saw last night. Somebody messaged the station, or not the station, the, the, the Abundant, Life page. Abundant Life page and said, I just went outside and screamed, thank you, Jesus, at the <laughs> top of my lungs in my neighborhood. <laughs> The dogs were barking, and I was like, that's powerful. And he goes, yeah, listening to Ron Carpenter last night made me do that. And I think that's the powerful thing about social media is we now have a, a look into different things that we didn't ever have. Right. And I was thinking last night, I was like, man, Pastor Walter Helm in the 90s, you know, had tons and tons of like national attention, was on national shows. This place was packed. Imagine the impact if – Social media was around back in the 90s. Yeah, so and we have a question right now. And Callie uh, asked, what time does Unshakable begin? So the answer is the service starts at 7, uh, 7 o'clock. Yes. But at 5.30 is whenever ev everybody is welcome to come. We're going to have the food trucks out here. Um, Abundant Life is covering the cost of, like, you can get something free from the food trucks. You just have to come in where the registration is. They're going to give you a ticket for free to go get something from the food trucks. And then there's going to be bounce houses for the kids or the family there's a mechanical bull where adults can ride and then there's a petting zoo that's free as well there's also for kids there is a Fortnite tournament taking place tonight at five o'clock ethan do you play Fortnite? do you know any of the Fortnite dances i do i know i can floss i learned how to floss <laughs> wait we want to see that can we I've, see that i've learned how to floss this is the hey that's it i got it Ooh! that's it it took, it took me four weeks to figure out how to do it <laughs> oh, I look at this. that I got this. do your uh <laughs> do your kids play Fortnite? <laughs> They play Fortnite. Okay. We should, like, we they, should have had a video can, camera going. They can do we all. Do. They can do all of those. All they, the dances. I, I got one last thing for y'all. I just realized uh, I had Chubble Con Catalan and Chubble uh, Congaplex in my bag, so y'all get to like have a little bit of. Ethan just got really excited. Ethan's like, lacing, up, like, lacing up his shoes so he can run it. <laughs> he has he has a chaser. 
He's got a. He, Look, he won't need it. Oh, what are you doing, Brian? <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> he brought Doritos to uh, okay. like Jason. Jason you know, hey, so one, you know, a little thought on that. Should you? Because I have a patient yesterday go. Yeah, I know I should, but I just decided if my kids are going to eat junk food, I'm not going to give them supplements. I'm like, so you're going to feed the, you're going to feed the enemy and, and starve your good guys? Wow. That's not a good idea. All right, so this is chewable Catalan, chewable Congoplex. So get a pile for each of you. You recommend I just put all of this in my mouth at the same time and start chewing. Is that what you're doing? Okay. And if it's chewable, that means it's made to be chewed, so it has a little bit of better flavor than – Correct. Awesome. So chewable Congoplex and Catalan? This is a. It smells better than the other stuff. Oh, yeah. Kurt, I'm about ascension. to chew this, so can you talk for a second and maybe uh, the ascension, we'll take some turns. The yeah. ten, at 10,000 feet and on the descent, this is great for adults on an airplane that travel a lot. And oh, that's way better. When you're a, good. When you're a kid, um, if you give them this stuff every day, you got to wait. 200 phytonutrients, 200 phytochemicals. Very, uh, you know, very nutritious. This is real food that people can chew up and indulge in. So at the beginning, it kind of has like a little chalky, and then it, it kind of kicks in with like a, a cranberry or like a berry cherry. flavor. Yeah, cherry, okay. And taste it with some B12. Don't mind little, if little, I do. A little Just, B12 shot. Yep. So uh, two or one? Two. I miss my bow. <laughs> Don't miss your mouth. Don't squirt your eyes. Oh, my gosh. Remember in Dumber and Dumber when he sprays oh the stuff in his guy's eye? <laughs> I do. I do. Uh, so you're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. Right now it's 9.54. We have a couple minutes left. Uh, we've been hanging out with Dr. Aaron Chapa today, oh talking about eye. health, talking about wellness, talking about getting better, treating your body through food. Good treating your body with natural supplements and, you know, getting off of medication, potentially um, getting rid of things that you weren't born with. Absolutely. That's very mm. important today. That B12 is delicious. I know. It's nice, eh? You like that B12? <laughs> I got it like on the sides of my mouth. You almost have to put this like really deep in there because it has a, a nice spray. <laughs> All right, gang. Y'all have a fantastic day. You too, Dr. Chapa. We'll see we'll, you soon. We'll catch y'all next week. So uh, we do have some stuff going on today. Again, we want to maybe have one more reminder as we have about four minutes left. If you're not at Unshakable tonight, you're going to be missing out on a lot of stuff. We have a special guest that's going to be here speaking. Yeah, Jesse Duplantis is speaking at 7 o'clock. If you haven't seen Jesse, I think he's one of the most uh, funny listener, you know, guy, guy pastors to listen to. He's always telling jokes, and it's always a good time. So that's at 7 o'clock. There is a – at 5 o'clock – there is a Fortnite tournament for the youth. And then also at 5.30, we have free food and bounce houses and free exotic petting zoo. Jim's Ooh. Jungle is there again tonight. So make sure that you come on out to Abundant Life Christian Center uh, and have a good good evening. Ethan, what's up? Intern Ethan is in the house. He's too tall. Rocking that mic. What's going on, man? Uh, well, I'm – whoa. That sounds – It um, sounds nice. Yeah. It sounds yeah. nice. Much nicer than my regular seat. Um, I don't know. I'm really ready. I'm hoping that the mechanical bull will be there tonight. I'm ready to rock it, show off Woo! some of my old Kentucky cowboy skills. Dang. So you have some real experience, like riding horses and stuff, right? Yeah. You yeah. Them. What about riding a bull? Okay. So we had a bull, but he was really tame. So like you can get on him just and like just, like a yeah. Horse. And he'd just sit there. Like, <laughs> so I don't have much experience with wild bulls, but I mean, you can, you've been on one before. Absolutely. Dang. Can Ethan wear the hot dog costume and do this instead? No. Oh. And you try and pass it off like, hey, that's totally me. And I was like, no, that guy's 6'3". And uh, that's Were Kurt. Were you 6'3", Ethan? Yeah. I mean. Kurt, you're 5'9". There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, 6'3", 5'9". 6'3", 5'9". Okay. I was going to write a song with that, trying but to make it didn't work. Song. Eight six seven That's five a, three zero oh, nine. I'm gonna let you take that from there. I didn't. I didn't have three words. Sorry. You can go back. We can go back to talking about what's happening tonight. I'm just gonna end the show now. <laughs> I gotta end on that. So hey, y'all have a good day, Ethan. Thank you for joining us for all of five seconds. Kurt, you know you're gonna have to blame Kurt for that one. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Come out tonight, Abundant Life Christian Center. We'll see you for the Unshakable Families Conference. This is 99.5 FM. Coming up next, Toby Matt, KHEA Radio.com, 99.5 FM. It's been Kickstart. 
hey, y'all have an awesome day. We'll see you tonight. If you're out there, come say what's up and uh, let us know. What do you think about the food trucks? What do you think about the exotic petting zoos? KGA Radio, 99.5 FM. I was not ready for it to sound Sarah, like that. it sounds good, huh? I, yeah, it caught me off. No, that mic is definitely better than... Sarah, yeah. this is a great mic. Well, it's not, it's not... It's a different mic. It's different. Uh, Sarah, are you going to the fitness center and dropping your kids off or what? So, Clear Creek doesn't have school today? Why would they do that on vote, like on the day where they have to vote? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Because I feel like it'd be like, okay, I have to go vote and I have to drag my kids with me. That's maybe does, part of it. Does that mean that I don't have to do school when I get home? Yes. <laughs> hey, you'd be like, Mom, no, it's, it's voting day. It's just clear. You don't go to Clear Creek. That's true. C-C-I-S-D. But he still, you don't have to. You don't want to. I mean, you don't get an off day. Like, if it's not teacher in service, right? Ethan in service day. <laughs> Those. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why would they do that? Maybe they didn't do it on purpose, but it's like, oh, yeah, that's the day that everyone's going to vote. Um, you better vote early because if not, you're going to have to drag your kids, drag everybody to go vote, and that would not necessarily be a good experience for some. Teach your kids the importance of voting. Yeah, but what if, if your kids are like five and you have you have to wait in line – and do all that stuff. You have like three kids, and they're all the ages are everywhere, right? That'd be rough. Very rough. Mm-hmm. All right, we're on our way to the Noah's Event Center. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Would you send that? 